everybody, it's me, Russ, and I put a window here in the Honda Element. So this here is a 2007 Honda Element. Uh, client had the window smashed out, smash and grab. The tools you're gonna need, screwdriver, possibly a knife. Uh, this is a uh, snap ring pliers. This will make the job a lot easier. You could use needle nose, but the, the, this will be better. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to get some. I got these from Harbor Freight. And I will include a link in the description to the glass. Uh, passenger side or driver's side, it's the same operation. I found the easiest way to do this was this little guy. And there's a little notch up here. Pop that loose. And you do it with one hand. Ha. Huh. Yes, you can. This piece here. Popping this out. So, yeah, I just took two hands to pop that out of there. So, yeah, two hands. I used my little pry screwdriver to pry it out. And that's how that's removed. We got another screw hole here. Can't he do it with one hand? Yep. So as I'm removing this screw, the good news is you don't have to take this whole door panel off. And I will show you that in a moment. But you do need some slack, and that's why I'm removing uh, the latch and this screw here. Okay, so... Yeah, you, this is how the glass is held in with these C-clips here. Snap clips, whatever. And we're going to have to get this out. So, again, body panel tools. You could use a screwdriver, I suppose, but this is how you don't scratch things. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. So it is necessary to pull this out, though, because you need a little space. It looks like... like I can access these screws from here. See what I'm saying? And prying from up here, you can see these just pop, pop together and they hook in from the side. So pulling it off to the side and out like that. Nice. All right, so it's eight millimeter. That's how we get these out. Don't lose the nut. That would be bad. Back these up. It's always good to remember that uh, glass is sharp. So, yeah, we're holding on to this thing. Even with gloves on, keep that in mind. So now, the best way that I've found to do this, so you don't lose your, your clip, is to get a little bit of a... Uh, blue painter's tape this blue painter's tape works best you could probably use electrical tape that'd probably work too but you just want to hold on to this guy because this thing when it comes loose wants to travel all right and you'll never see it again <laughs> they spring out and uh, god knows what happens to them so this is what i've learned from my shop day front there spread it apart come on yeah just like that see that and the clip came out and I didn't lose it tape helped with that so a rubber piece and now we're gonna clean out the glass and try to cut myself again so so yeah, I got one mechanic glove, <laughs> Grease Monkey glove, and uh, this one is for my injury. Anyway, let's put some stuff in there. So yeah, just using a screwdriver to get the glass out like that. All right, pull this thing out of the packaging. It's just a, it's just a piece of glass. See that? Boom. 
Rothschild Auto Glass Specialist. There it is. And in this case, outside has the sticker on it. So that's good news. Now this, uh, this is the one. Getting in this hole can be tricky. Again, especially when it's winter and things don't want to be pliable, cooperative. But yeah, just kind of made it, folded it up like a taco, like that. Kind of pull it through. Needle nose might be helpful. My hands are freezing also. So if you're doing this in warm weather, I'm uh, I'm a little envious over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's fine. This is fine. Easy peasy. Look at that. See that? That's how you get these. All in. right. So now that we have that lined up, we're just going to set that here. Pop that underneath and reapply our C-clip. Let's get our clip ready. A little easier to do this part without gloves on. So it's going to have to kind of press down and in. So yeah, depending on how buoyant your seal is, this, uh, it just slides underneath, right? You gotta get that part first and then push it all. That's the key. I know, it's hard to see. Here we go. Down and in. Okay, so... I mean, once you got it in place, you're in the in the home stretch. This cardboard box isn't a great work table. I'll be honest, not a great work not a great work table at all. Freezing, I'm bleeding. It's just one of those days. Mama said. Mama said there'd be days like this. <sighs> okay, because of my workstation area here. <laughs> it wasn't great to try and film this, but I found the best way of doing this is to apply pressure, right? Apply pressure downward right here, and then push it in from the back. I used a screwdriver to kind of pop it in from the back while I was pressing down with this guy. Once you get it underneath, again, once you get it underneath, it's easy to pop it in. That's the hardest part. All right, doing this one-handed. Now that I've done this one, excuse my bleeding, by the way. <laughs> don't, I mean, that was just the stupidest thing. Uh, you just you just don't, my calluses on my hands are not that great. So be careful when you're dealing with broken glass. I mean, I mean, seriously. Here we go. Okay, so once you got these guys on, and that kind of moves a little. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're gonna remove this guy. I think it's be easier to, than to do it with it on. You could try it, make your own video. I'd watch that, I would. So this side I found much easier than the hinges because you can press down, you can apply pressure to press down on this so that it fits under this guy. And there's no extra washer on this one either, so. That made it a lot more easier. A lot more easier. I think I stopped bleeding finally. Here we go. Can he do it? With one hand. Nice! Achievement unlocked. Next level. Now it's time to put the glass in. So. It's good to have your wrench in hand. Have one of these ready to thread because you don't want to drop this glass, man. This glass is expensive. Line up these holes in the back first. So basically what I'm doing is I'm threading the top, this guy here, so you know that the glass is in there. We're not going to torque this thing all the way down. We're just going to thread these, get them in there so you can adjust it to 
where it fits snug and nicely and closes up and doesn't leak. That's always important. That's always an important thing. Okay, so we got our screws in there. And this is where you just want to make sure that, again, those are a little bit loose. So you can line that up and make sure that that goes in properly. All right, so then basically this bracket goes back on. Okay, now that you got that installed, snug down, what I like to do is to close this a little bit. It won't snap it all the way shut. But we still haven't tightened these bolts down. The reason being is it's good to make sure you got adequate, I'm on a hill, which is fun. Um, you got adequate space in here, you know? And make sure that the space is good. I even might bring it up on the bottom just a bit, you know, just to make sure it's not gonna touch or leak or anything. Yeah, just make sure you got a good gap going on. Cinch it down. All right, and look at that. Boom. If you need continued help, uh, stick around. I'll show you how to button this back up. But please, if you found this video helpful in your life, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. It's just, there's a button that just takes a second. It's just right, like, right, right there. That would be... That would be amazing. That's that's all the payment I need. This is valuable information. I mean, shops pay for this kind of information, like two, three hundred dollars a month for this kind of stuff you get on YouTube for free. So please, again, thank you. All right, so putting this guy back together, this goes in upside down, like this. It slides up in there, like that. So yeah, you, know, you just pop it in there. You snap this over. Okay, can you do it one hand? Probably not, just tucks back in there. You got these snaps in the back here that line up with those holes, that's how that goes. You got that pin lines up with that. You also wanna make sure this little guy hooks underneath here, see that? There's this tab, it kinda hooks underneath when you press this in, all right? That's as easy as it is. That's how you do it. All right, and then we put this guy back in. Pop that piece back in there like that. Oh, I did it with one hand. Look at that. Look at that, will ya? Just like that. You just tuck it, see? Like that. Easy peasy. Screwed that back in there. Don't want to forget this one down here, your little magical trap door. That. All right, there it is. You don't have to take any speakers out. You don't even have to take this door panel off. This, th you could do this, this is easy. Congratulations, you, you did it. And there you go, you did it, you changed it. You can do this, it's not that hard, especially if it's warm outside. It was a little harder getting those clips on just because everything's so cold. Rubber is cold. It's not real pliable. Uh, but yeah, this, this is easy. Do it. All right. And as I'm remote, my client has left. Locking it up. Make sure my tools aren't in here. Wait. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs>